with us this morning. He's been with us over the years, any number of times. He is the president of Arley Wholesale. And Scott, how are you? I'm doing great. Now, you, you know, I think the curious thing, because I know you're a button-down guy and you've got a well-organized company. So when you first heard this whole lockdown pandemic situation, what was your reaction and what actions did you take right off the bat? Well, you know, I was, I was here during 2008, during that financial crisis, and, and we did a lot of things then uh, that looking back on it at the end, I wish I had done differently. And so luckily we did, we kind of kept a computer folder of all the decisions we had made and, uh. and mistakes we had done and everything. And I basically, it, it's that, you know, in case of emergency, break glass here, <laughs> you know. And so I immediately reviewed that and we made some very, very quick changes uh, with, we had to do some layoffs, unfortunately, and some furloughs of some people to right size the company for what we knew was going to be happening. And especially, you know, this was a very, very regional pandemic in the beginning. You know, it really right. was, you were looking at the Seattle, Washington area, and you were looking at the New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania area as where it was. So with a company that is East Coast based with our headquarters in Pennsylvania, the core of our business really was that Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, that mid-Atlantic area. We do business up and down the East Coast, but that's what we've always been in the mid-Atlantic. So that was our core. So when your core is essentially shut down, which is what happened, uh -huh. you know, and everyone is in a lockdown, it forces you very, very quickly to examine how to do things. Luckily for Arlie, we've always been technologically ahead and always tried to be on the, on the, on the cutting edge of those things. So we had some things already in place, and then it really accelerated some of the initiatives we were looking at. I like the idea that you saved your file and went back and looked at that, say, hey, what do we do wrong? What do we do right? Very interesting. Yeah, we had to. I mean, I, I, if you don't use the experience of what you've already gone through in the past, it's, it's kind of foolish. So we wanted to make sure that we, were, we understood, you know, what had gone right, what had gone wrong, and how to just minimize that mistake going forward yeah so what are some of the actions you took you took um, um, immediately i suspect you pulled all your people out of the out of the field our people were out of the field we did some you know our people are pretty good already at doing at doing zoom meetings we've held some meetings back and forth that way we went to immediately all electronic meetings we had a class for our people on how to run zoom meetings how to run them efficiently how to be able to present products to our customers um, we had to cancel our yearly event, the Arley Classic. Um, obviously, you can't have a meeting with 300 people showing up. So we had to cancel that. We had to think about new ways to introduce the new product launches that were going to happen there. We had to do them electronically. So we had to convert all our media and everything we were doing to an electronic form. We went to having uh, electronic meetings internally in the company. You know, I mean, if you, you know, everyone in our company obviously wears a mask and wears a mask in the warehouse and everything going around, but in a private office, you don't have to. So anyone that wasn't really set up for video conferencing, we went out and bought little cameras to put onto, onto, their, onto their desktop computers to set them up so we could start having video conferencing everywhere. And, you know, we have six branches. We wanted to be able to make sure we can keep in contact with everybody. So everything really went to that relatively quickly. That wasn't that hard for us. What was hard for us was the, really what was the bringing in a product was the moving a product out for delivery to customers. You didn't know which customers were open, which customers were closed, totally affected all of our truck runs. It really was a lot of scrambling here in the beginning to, uh, to service our customers in the way they're used to getting service from, from Arley Wholesale and provide that service as well as the ports were all screwed up it was impossible, you know, we, no one was hitting their timelines, getting product into us, which was hurting us, getting product out to customers. It was really shaky for a little bit. <laughs>